And if you want to run the steam engine, 130 gallons of water in the boiler, fill the tire. In an hour or so, you're going to have steam. If you're going to power the mill, then you take the belt, put it between the pulleys, take it off the belt in the basement, and it's on the water curtain. When you got pressure, you open the valve, and away she runs. By cranking the valve open, it runs. The more steam you let in, the faster it will run. So this is your on-off amp rod. Of course, before you do that, you got to fill all the oilers. The main oilers get filled. There's one here for the connecting rod. Give it a push to start it or yeah. what? Woodward D governor is for the small turbine. It's the oldest Model D that Woodward knows of that still works for a living. Wow. And Woodward H is the governor for the big turbine. And it was put in when Leffel rebuilt our big turbine. If you go on Leffel's website, there's a picture of the turbine before they took it out and rebuilt it. The wooden teeth get replaced about every 10 to 12 years. It would make a hell of a racket if they were cast because they're going to wear out and then they get really sloppy. New ones, they wear out, but you can put the teeth back in. We use a lot of beeswax as lubrication. What's your fire date? Yep, 1940. Uh, every mill will have or has. Ah. You take off the brake, and when you have pressure, you flip this lever down, and she's off and running. Up shuts it off. Otherwise. You would have to manually open and close the gates. There's a tachometer over behind the red oil tank. So you're trying to squint and see against the bright light coming through the door to hold 500 RPM when you're running this off. <laughs> Much easier to let the uh, governor do that for you. I can see that. Just to keep things exercised. Everything's inspected, yeah, certified, all that good every, stuff. Every year, Jerry comes in and inspects these our local 